A Rocky Mountain business says nearly $100,000 worth of their checks have been stolen from inside of a post office. And this has happened since January, the latest theft happening just last week. Now, this comes three months after WRAL first reported on thousands of dollars in checks being stolen at the location. Only on WRAL, Keenan Willard spent the evening at the post office where people are concerned. Keenan. So they tell me they're frustrated. People living in this area come here to the Westridge Post Office in Rocky Mount looking to mail checks. So what they say is they come here. In some cases, they hand the checks off to the attendant inside the office or they'll go directly to these drop boxes. But either way, they send checks off to be mailed. But within a matter of days, those checks are either reported for fraud or worse, they're cashed in banks sometimes hundreds of miles away. And people living in this area say this is a security issue that needs to be addressed. Nearly $100,000. That's the total value of checks that have been stolen from one Rocky Mount business in the past six months. How did it happen? All these checks were put in envelopes and mailed at the Westridge Post Office in Rocky Mount. This is the original check. Back in April, WREL reported on a Rocky Mount church that mailed a check at the Westridge Post Office. Only for someone to change the amount to $15,000 and cash it illegally. The church got their money back but wanted answers. And at the time, the U.S. Postal Inspector's Office said it was investigating. But months later, the Rocky Mount community says checks are still being stolen here. Or what should be safer than going to your local post office and putting a check in the mail. In April, Ken Burnett says his check to the IRS was stolen from the Westridge Post Office eventually cashed for more than $15,000. His bank reimbursed him too, but some business owners say they can no longer trust this location. We're, we're just tired. We're tired of having to open and close our bank accounts. When Betty Williams asked us what WREL was reporting on at the post office today, her jaw dropped at the answer. I just mailed 10 checks off to charity, different charities. She's now taking extra steps to protect herself. I need to give my bank heads up. Definitely. That's that's sad. Now, we reached out to the U.S. Postal Inspector's Office to ask what progress has been made in the last three months with their investigation here. They say they are working on an update for us. Keenan Willard, WRL News, Rocky Mount.